What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today, as you guys can see, I got a pretty fun one for us. We're going to be taking the Montreal Expos. We're going to be bringing them back in LB21. Now, I saw a bunch of you guys earlier in April wanted me to bring the Expos back as an actual relocation franchise team. I was thinking about doing it. They were definitely on my list, but I ended up picking Nashville. I think that's a lot better and we're having a lot of fun with that. You guys are showing a bunch of support on it, so I appreciate all of that. But I still wanted to bring back Montreal because I feel like they deserve it. I've heard countless stories. I was too young for Montreal. I was born in 2001, so I really wasn't able to experience the Montreal Expos that much. It was pretty much all the Nationals because I think they came in like 2004, 2005. I'm pretty sure it was 2005 though. Let's see real quick, make sure I'm not dumb. The Expos existed from 1969 to 2004, but moved to Washington DC for the start of the 2005 season. So there we go. So I was pretty much right, I'll take it. But yeah, I never really got to experience them, but I heard a boatload of stories from other family members, from a lot of older baseball friends and things like that, about how the Montreal Expos, at least for the time like in the 90s, were incredible. When they had people like Pedro Martinez, Vladdy Guerrero, those type of dudes, oh my God. Not to mention the unis were great. They drafted Tom Brady at one point. Now it's definitely a W for Tom Brady that he wanted to play football, but still the Expos drafted Tom Brady. They have such a storied and crazy history that I had to bring them back one more time and try to create my own little dynasty with them. So I think this should be fun. If you guys are excited for it, leave a like on it, subscribe down below. I'd appreciate it. And tell me if you guys want to see other teams coming back to the MLB. I mean, we could bring back the Cleveland Spiders. We can bring back people like the New York Giants, all sorts of things like that. So if you guys want to see any of that, then be sure to comment down below and tell me what you guys want to see. I'd appreciate it and I'll be hearting as many comments as I see down there. So go comment. Either way, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and actually build this team and actually try to build these jerseys and do some justice for this entire thing. Because I'm not trying to make some garbage garbage can jerseys that will completely ruin this entire thing. So let's see what the heck I can do here. Let's get it going. All right, during the Expos history, they had a couple different iterations of their jerseys. They went from pinstripes to solid colors to colors like going up the side and on the shoulder and things like that. They had a boatload of different uniforms and all of them, to be honest, were kind of fire. I think personally though, for the home uniforms, we're just gonna go with the pinstripes. I think that'd be pretty sick. That's kind of like the OG. You kind of have to do it. So I'm gonna do my best to try to build these. All right, let's see if this actually looks pretty good. And there we go. Oh baby, I'm so excited for this. This actually looks sick. It's got the nice white outline around it. Okay, we're looking good. All right, there we go. With the logo and everything, the hat looks very, very nice. This thing looks perfect. Now let's go ahead and move on to the actual jerseys. This is going to be a completely different beast right here. You guys best believe I'm using pictures for this. There's no shot that I'm not. So for their pinstripes, it definitely was more like a lighter blue. It wasn't exactly their darkish, like bluish purple type thing. So let's see what the guy can even do here. I'm thinking that we go with, we got to go a little bit lighter on the blue, maybe like that. I mean, it was a super light blue. Like it was super, super light. Right there, I think that might look pretty good. Let's also change the buttons to white and there we are. Okay. Let's see how that goes. We also have to change the undershirt to a little bit of a deeper blue. And let's see how the heck this logo actually works out. Let's take a look real quick. And that is definitely not the right one. Oh my God. Real quick, I gotta see how this would actually look though. Oh my God, it looks so bad. Okay, let's change it real quick. If I have to, I have a couple backups, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's see how the jacket one looks. Is this gonna be the right one? And it's not the right one. Okay, we're gonna have to wait a second. Let's head back real quick to the logo vaults and actually find the right ones. And your connection to the show online has been lost. Okay, looks like we can't access the vaults because this game likes to screw everybody over. All right, if that's going to be the case, then we got to completely change everything right here and just go with the solid whites. We're not going to be able to put pinstripes on this, which sucks, but it is what it is. All right, in this case, again, we got to go with the solid whites. I'm thinking that we add a little bit of flair to this, though. They had this type of piping on their shoulders, so this could be insane real quick. Hold on. We got that. We got to get a lighter red. There we go. We're going to need the number on the left side. Also, I got to fix the logo just a little bit because legit every single letter right here is in white. So hold on one second. We got to change these to that Expo blue, and that looks about right. Perfect and I didn't save it. Okay, hold on, wait a second. <laughs> There we go. I got it now. So this should be looking a lot better. That's almost like a purple. What the heck? That did not look purple to me. Am I colorblind? What the heck is going on? It looked fine for me. That is a little bit concerning. Okay, hold on. Go back a little bit like that. Is that better? Let's see. And that's a little bit better. Okay, we'll take that. Now with the sleeves, we definitely got to change these up. These got to be white. And then we got to try to keep that stripe down the side if we possibly can. And there we go. Thank God they actually have an option for that. Holy crap. I legit was not expecting over the show to actually be this in depth. I'm not going to lie. Sadly, we can't do patches, but still, this looks pretty good. So far, we're looking okay. The numbers looks like they were just blue. Okay, perfect. And then we gotta go with the front number right about there. Beautiful. Oh my God, these are looking good. Oh my God, there we are. Perfect, boys. Oh, these are looking good. All right, now we gotta get to the pants. It looks like we just gotta keep the same piping going down. It looks like for the pants, we're gonna have to go with this, but this is not bad whatsoever. So there we go. Got all that perfect. And then we gotta do the away jerseys. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's get it done. Let's get them going. Now, do we go with the blue ones? I think the blue ones were kind of fire. I know they weren't the away jerseys, but come on, the blues were so sick. There we go. The away hat looking nice. And now we gotta 
do justice on these powder blues. I was trying not to screw this up here. Oh my god, wait a minute. I think I might have got it. There we go. It's actually kind of like the exact color. Oh my god. Okay. Looks like we got the shoulders all good. Perfect. And let's go ahead and get this logo on here. So we gotta load this real quick and we gotta go with the jacket one. It looks like for the text and the number, they were actually red. So we gotta change that. So we go here. Perfect, actually. What the heck? It was auto put there for me. Beautiful. All right, there we go. Now we just gotta change the sleeves. Gotta keep these the exact same color. Also gotta keep the piping the exact same. And there we go. Oh my god, these are coming together great. I will say the white buttons are kind of throwing me off. I'm just gonna let them blend in real quick. There we go. And let's get the red numbers in there. There we go. Let's go with the front over here. Perfect. Oh my god, it's actually working out so good. What the heck? And there we are. The away jerseys for the Expos are looking great. Now we just gotta do the pants. And after that, we are done. We can actually get into this video. Holy crap. I definitely underestimated this entire thing. Because I definitely want to do this justice, like 100%. But I definitely did not think about how involved these would be. And there we go. The Expos are done, baby. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. These look pretty sick. Alright, there we go. Made a couple tiny adjustments, and now they're perfect. Alright, there we go. There's the team. Now we just gotta finish this. And let me go ahead and export the Expos. Save them up real quick. And there we are. Alright, one more thing. Do I actually try to find the old Expo Stadium. There's gotta be at least one person. The game's been out for like three weeks. There's gotta be at least one person that has made the Expo's old stadium. I gotta try to find it. So hold on. Let me finish this and let me find this freaking stadium real quick. That'd be too perfect. Oh no, don't tell me. Oh my god, of course. The servers are so just horrible right now. I got no more stubs. I had like 38,000. That's not good either. Okay. Well, sadly, we're not gonna be able to do anything pretty much with the vaults because everything's turned off. Luckily, though, franchise is an offline mode. So I really don't have to worry about any sort of garbage like surrounding the servers or things like that. So that is very very, very nice for me. Thank goodness, because holy crap. On Twitter, it's a dumpster fire every single time the servers act up, and I get it, but I'm just glad I don't have to worry about it. Either way, sadly, we still got Nationals Park. That's definitely gonna suck, but the Montreal Expos are still back and it'll be the show. Let's get them a World Series Championship type squad. Let's do it right now. Let's get it going, baby. Look at those jerseys. Oh my god. Again, we took the 2021 Nationals back up to Montreal, so we still got people like Max Scherzer, Steven Strasburg, Trey Turner, Juan Soto, got Brad Hand, Patrick Corbett, Victor Robles, Josh Bell. The team definitely falls off very, very fast but we're going to try our best to actually build them back up. We actually ended up doing the Nationals not too long ago with the Mike Trout video that we did. If you guys have not seen that, it was a very, very fun video, so I definitely suggest it. So we got a pretty decent idea of how to rebuild this team, so I'm not going to have to worry about that too much. And honestly, I think I'm just going to go ahead and start now. Let's just go ahead and get it going. Most of the depth guys in the rotation, at least for this team, are definitely not going to do great for me. So I got to try my best to pick up some absolute killers right now. Let's see if I can do it. The first expo trade that we're going to be doing is with the Indians for Aaron, because this dude is such a crazy good glitch in this game. I've been watching Aaron for a super long time in this game. He's always like a 3.5 type ERA player, if not below that. And that's what we're going to need for this team. So we got Eric Freddy, we got Joe Ross and Hernan Perez going over to the Indians. So there we go. This is a very, very solid fourth starter right here. And I think we should be okay with this now for at least 2021. John Lester, at least from my experience, does okay in the first season, but after that completely falls off. I think next we got to go for at least one or two guys in the bullpen. And I think we're actually going to go a couple teams over to the Twins and get Alex Colome and Tyler Duffy if possible. If this could actually work out, oh my God, we're going to have such a stacked up team. I don't see a way that this works out, but if it does, oh, you guys better watch out. Legit, every single person better watch out because this team's going to be too nice. Literally one minute later. There ain't no way, though. Yeah, they want Luis Garcia. Okay, we're not going to be able to do that. We're definitely going to have to get rid of Colomay for this deal to actually go through. Let's see if this actually works. There we go. Perfect. Okay, Tyler Duffy is definitely still incredibly good. I will easily take him instead. That's fine. And I think for the next trade, I'm actually going to cheese it just a little bit. Ooh, and when I said cheese it, this could possibly work out incredibly good. Matt Chapman, after this year, has two more years of arbitration left. He's got such incredibly good upside. I think he's going to do a lot better than 2020. 20. The only problem is we're getting rid of quite a few guys here for the Expos. We got Keyboom, we got Cade, and we also got Brad Hand. Now, Brad Hand for me sucks. I'm just putting that out there. Brad Hand for me is garbage. So I might be dodging a blow with this deal, not to mention I've seen so many times that Matt Chapman's won MVP. The guy will just randomly go out and hit like 50 home runs for you, not to mention field a thousand. The guy's crazy. So I think this could work out incredibly nice. So let's try to go for it. And there we go. Oh my God. We just got another absolute stud on the squad. Oh my goodness. Let's go and check the rosters real quick and look at this entire team now. So now we got Matt Shirts are Matt Chapman, got Strasburg, Trey Turner, Juan Soto, Patrick Corbin, Tyler Duffy, Victor Robles. That's pretty much about it before it kind of falls off just a little bit. But still, the team that we're assembling is absolutely disgusting. I hope you guys are as excited as I am because I'm stoked for this entire thing to get going. And I think now is actually a pretty good time. At the start of 2021, we're fifth overall. We got ninth in contact, sixth in power, sixth in pitching, 23rd in defense, and 23rd in speed. I think that's going to change quite a bit, especially with the team that we got now. So I'll be seeing you guys around the All Star break and let's see how this team can do. All right, right now, July 11th, we are first in the NLE. 
least. Why? I get that we got a good team, but the Braves, the Mets, like, hello, what are we doing here? Also, case closed. Look at Matt Chapman. That's why I get the guy. That's why we do this right here. Starting off the first half of the season with 20 bombs and a 312. Not to mention, I gotta check it. MLB stats. Let's go ahead and see what his fielding percentage is at. He is at a 985. Not bad whatsoever. Only two errors on the entire season. We'll take that, dude. We will take that every day of the week. Strasburg as well doing amazing coming back. Going down to Trey Turner. Not bad at all, except for that average. He needs to go up just a little bit. Max Scherzer dealing out here. Juan Soto having a great season. Tyler Duffy having a fantastic... Oh my god. A sub one ERA season for him. My dude Aaron dealing. My dude Patrick Corbin kind of sucking. Okay. That's a lot of money too. We can't be doing that. That's 18.6 million. Oh my god, Patrick. Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on. I don't want to do this, but I might have to. Patrick, can you actually like give me someone good? Hold on. Let's see. If I can get somebody astronomical like crazy for this man, I think I got to do it. But if I can't, we're just going to keep him. But let me see. Blake Snell. It's close. It's so freaking close. If I can get Blake's on this team... That might be all she wrote, legit. Hold on. Andrew? Okay. Close. We're very close. Luis Garcia, how are you doing? He's doing very good. I can't get rid of Luis. Drew Mendoza, we got Matt Chapman. We don't really need you that much, bro. God dang it. Come on, game. Give me like five person trades. Just come on. It shouldn't be too hard. Just like expand the boxes a little bit. Come on. I know it's a lot deeper than that, but still. Like we're so incredibly close. Look at that. We're so incredibly close to the promised land, but we can't do it because this game's outdated. It's just so incredibly frustrating. I mean, I could do it for Josh Bell, but Josh Bell's doing amazing. He's on a comeback tour. I can't do that to him. I'm not gonna be able to do it, huh? That's gonna be so irritating. I will be so incredibly close yet not able to do it. Oh my. Yep. I can't do it. Oh Jesus. That actually hurts so freaking much. Let's keep going though. Let's see what else we could do. We desperately need a catcher. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah. Let's get a catcher. I know exactly who I'm going for it too. You guys best believe. There we go. Oh my God. There's no freaking chance I'm actually able to do this. We're going to be getting Salvador Perez up here in Montreal for Jack Noll, Andrew Stevenson, and Yasmani Tomas, baby, the legend. Let's go and get Salvi. And there we are. This game's broken. I love it. We just got such a solid catcher for legit pretty much nobody. So that is a big W for me. Let's keep this thing going past the all-star break and into the second half. Jazz Chisholm. Okay, baby. But like I was saying, let's go ahead and and get past the second half, and I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Let's see if we can possibly make a push for the playoffs. Let's see if we can do it. All right, after the second half, and we're off to a super rough start. Oh, no. We actually fell so freaking far. Oh, God. September, we got to bring this thing back, baby. We legit got to push a 180, and it does not look like we're actually going to do that. Okay, we are out of the postseason a thousand percent. That is such a sad way to end. 72 and 90. Oh, my God. That was actually gross. What the heck? All right, if we check the standard, we finished last place. Oh, God. A fourth overall team in the MLB finished in last place. You hate to see that. All right, let's see what that the problem was. Trey Turner did a may. Oh my God, Trey Turner, you God. Sterling Castro put in a solid season for him. I love that. Juan Soto, not completely horrible, but definitely probably his worst season. Matt Chapman, again, this is why we get the guy. Did amazing. Josh Bell on his revenge tour. Love to see that. Salvador Perez, again, incredible for a catcher. Kyle Schwarber, again, incredible for a power hitting guy. And then Victor Robles, not the greatest. Not gonna lie, not the greatest. This dude is having trouble hitting the ball. I don't know what it is, but he's having trouble. We gotta try our best to either fix that or he's gonna be on a different team. One of the two. Next up, the rotation. Let's go ahead and see what that guy happened. Where is Scherzer? That has got to be the issue. Injured list. Where's the man at? Oh, torn groin. Oh, God. Almost anything but a groin tear. That is so horrible. That dude is not going to be able to walk for at least three more weeks after he comes back. If you're a guy, like probably 98% of you guys are there watching this video, top three worst pains I've ever felt in my entire life. It is so horrible. I don't wish a torn groin on anybody, and that's one of the worst baseball injuries you can get. There's some other ones, like a torn labrum and things like that. There's definitely worse injuries, but a torn groin is a different animal. Legit. That is a different animal. Either way, Scherzer, my condolences. Let's go ahead and keep moving. Let's see what else went wrong here. Steven Strasburg had a garbage second half of the season. Okay. This guy was actually doing amazing the first half, but the second half, he wore out completely, but still not a bad year from him. We also got Aaron, pretty solid year from him. Patrick Corbin, not good pretty much whatsoever. John Lester, okay, really bad. Still on Sharp, amazing actually. Okay, look at Sterling, let's go baby. Bullpen, we got Seth Romero, didn't really play, not even gonna worry about it. Ryan Harper, actually very good from him, 100 innings too, my God. Louis putting up a 4.06, not horrible. Daniel Hudson, not bad. Wander, actually not bad. Will Harris, could have been better. And then Tyler Duffy, oh my God. He also had a garbage second half, holy crap. All right, I think I definitely know what to do now. Let's go to the off season and let's get some pitching and probably a better center fielder to be honest. Let's get this thing going right here, right now, baby. Okay, Kyle Schwarber wants to come back. I'm definitely gonna get him back after the year that he put in. 8.7 million easily. Again, Solon Castro, the year that he put in was amazing. I will get him back as well for two years. Jan Gomes did horrible. If he accepts 4.3, he can be the backer for the team. I'm not worried about it. Josh Harrison, 
Uh, had seven stolen bases. I'm not gonna sign him back. I'm good. Alex Avila, we're fine. John Lester, later. Luis, get him back, of course. Daniel Hudson, the exact same thing. Get him back. Ryan Zimmerman, ooh. Zimmerman did not really do that great, but he's kind of like a legend. So I can't just let the guy go, but also he's in AAA. If I'm being nice to him, I'm just gonna go and let him walk. Either way, let's get to the actual for agents now. Let's see what the heck we can do to build this team. All right, what the heck are we gonna have here? We got Lance Lynn, we got Noah Syndergaard, and that is legit it, okay. Bullpen, not really looking that great, but the closers, okay, we could get Brad Hand. Had a Brad Hand. Deal. Oh, he actually did amazing. Okay, bad look for me, but we still got Matt Chapman for him, so I'm I'm not worried about it. Matt Chapman also was a beast, not to mention I can get Brad Ham back. Kind of a fat W if you think about it. Besides all this, we could go for Lance Lynn. I would not be opposed to that whatsoever. Lance Lynn for two years would be pretty solid. Go 33 for him, front loaded. Let's see if he'll actually take that. And then besides all that, what the heck do we have out here in center field? Legit nobody. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to stick with Victor just for a little bit longer. Again, I don't have a problem with that whatsoever, but I was just kind of hoping that we'd be able to get someone like a Starling Marte or pretty much like anybody else. But it is what it is. We'll take it and not worry about it too much. I'm also gonna get Trevor Cahill because this guy's an inning eater, not to mention did pretty solid. I'll see what happens if I can get him. If I can't, not a big deal. And besides that, we are good, baby. Let's keep it going. So the people we're going for, Lance Lynn, Brad Hand, and Trevor Cahill. Let's see what we got. Lance Lynn goes to the White Sox for legit $6 million less, pretty much. Okay, hate to see that. Also, Chris Bryant goes to the Dodgers. Are they not good enough? What the heck are they doing out there? Yo, okay, hold on. Noah, come on over, bro. Come on over. Three years, $70 million. A little bit of a front load of contract. This could work out incredibly good if he actually signs. Come on, no, We already missed out once. I can't let it happen again. And we also get Noah Syndergaard. Let's go. He's going to Montreal. I'll see you guys out there in 2022 and let's see how this team's going to fare. All right, we're at opening day of 2022 and the team is looking a lot better. We're third overall now, but I would definitely say the upgrades that we made are going to be gigantic for this entire squad. Having people like Noah Syndergaard in a team like this is going to be disgusting, as well as having Roberto Osuna finishing out your games. And we still got pretty much everybody else back. I'd say this worked out pretty solid for us. I will say though, I do want to move Juan Soto back over to left field. I feel like that's a better spot for him. Let's see what happens. And he goes up to a 93. There we go. Get Schwarber out there and right and perfect. All right. In my opinion, that feels a lot better. All right, let's go ahead and get the year underway. And I'll be seeing you guys right here back around the all-star break. And I got a very good feeling about this year for this team. I'm liking what we got here. There's still definitely some upgrades I want to make. And Glass now goes to the Cubs. Again, being a race fan can be some pain sometimes. Either way, our squad is looking fantastic. We're coming in this year at 58 and 31. But like I said, like legit two seconds ago, we still got some work we got to do. First off, Patrick Corbin, not really doing all that great for me right now, especially with his contract only going up. He was definitely good when they signed him, 2018, 2019. But the dude is kind of falling off, at least for me. Not to mention Max Scherzer is falling hard. This dude is falling down so freaking hard. So we desperately got to get a beast in here. Let's get it going. Patrick Orban, Seth Romero, and we got to get ourselves a stud. Oh, and there's no way they let me do this. Jack Flaherty, come on. Oh my God. We still got him for another year of arbitration. We get rid of Patrick Corbin's gigantic contract and we're going to get ourselves a postseason stud in Jack Flaherty. Give me. Yeah, hundred percent. Come on. I know he's not the lefty I was looking for. I get that, but I can flip someone else for a very, very good lefty. That's only if I want to though. We're going to go ahead and keep rocking with what we got, but wow. Okay. I'm super excited for this. I'm thinking next we got to get rid of Victor Robles. This dude is a nightmare at the plate and not in a good way. That's normally used for a lot of good things like being a nightmare at the plate. That's normally a fantastic thing. Not for Robles. So I'm definitely not going to keep him for very long. Let's see what I can do here. We got Loriano possibly coming over here. That could be very good. If we wanted to, we could also go at Trent Grisham. Maybe like a Kyle Lewis type of dude. There's a lot of options here. Maybe Alex Verdugo. I'm gonna try to get Loriano though, because this dude is not only great at hitting, but he also has fantastic fielding. Recently, I've been trying to get better fielders. Honestly, I'm just trying to get some more guys because I'm starting to feel like we get the same people every single rebuild and things like that. So honestly, I'm just out here trying new people, new things. Let's see if we got it. And there we go. We could possibly do this right here. Yeah, I think this looks very, very good. Okay, Loriano coming on over and there we are. Well, that was an insane couple trades right there. What do we have here for the contract extensions? We got Matt Chapman, Juan Soto, Trey Turner, Jack Flaherty, and Loriano. Okay. Matt Chapman still got a year left. We got Juan Soto who has two more years left after this. We got Trey Turner who is going to be a free agent right now. Uh-oh. That is absolutely going to suck. Okay. He's been killing it too, so we really can't like take advantage of him. I think for Montreal, we're going to try to go for 200 flat, but my God, that is a gigantic contract. Let's see. And I'll take it. There we go. Wow. And I think besides Josh Bell, everybody else has at least one more year left. So we're going to go ahead and keep it going with that. So there we go. Let's go ahead and finish out this year. All right, September time. Let's go ahead and see how we finish off here. We're looking great so far. But as we know, this thing can flip super quick. Let's see if we can finish off and win the division. Let's see. And we do it. 92 and 70. And we take the division. There we are, baby. Montreal going back to the postseason for the first time in legit what? At least two decades. It's probably a lot longer than that. But for the first time in two decades, we are back, baby. Let's check the awards real quick. Who's got it? Matt Chapman, of course 
course, with the gold glove. We also got Juan Soto with the Hank Aaron Award. And also Soto getting the Silver Slugger. That's what I like to see right there. Also, A. Eugenio Suarez killed it this year. Oh my God. So did Jacob deGrom. These guys are disgusting. Also, Lucas Giolito won the MVP for the AL. Also, won the Cy Young. Giolito is built different, dude. Holy crap. Okay, either way, we're facing the Mets. If we take a look at this, we got Flaherty, Strasburg, Syndergaard, Aaron, and then Max Scherzer. Not bad whatsoever. In the lineups, we got Turner, Loriano, Soto, Matt Chapman, Josh Bell, Soto Perez. Again, solid from top to bottom. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. Game one, Jack Flaherty versus David Peterson. We're at home too, so let's go ahead and start this off with a bang. Come on, Jack. Okay, or not. He pitched decent. It's just David was way better. Next up, Strasburg versus Lucchesi. Won that one, five to three, perfect. Syndergaard versus Tawan Walker. Come on, Syndergaard. Against your old team, you gotta have a vengeance against them. There we go, beautiful. And then Aaron versus Jacob DeGrom. Aaron, this is the time to show your worth right here. If he can beat DeGrom in New York, then Aaron's the real deal, 100%. Let's see. And he did it, four to one. That's what I'm talking about. Aaron, you God, bro, you freaking God. San Diego coming in now. And again, I want a Blake Snell. This is exactly why I wanted him. Look at that, eight innings, 10 strikeouts. No runs. While Jack Flaherty over here gave up freaking three. So it is what it is. Let's see if Jack can bring it back against Blake Snell. And he definitely does not. Steven Strasburg versus Mike Clevenger for game two. Lost that one as well by five. Syndergaard, we gotta have a reset. Bring it back. Versus Matt. come on, baby. Or not. And then Aaron, bring it back, dude. Versus Chris Paddock. There we go. Perfect. Max Scherzer now versus Blake Snell. Game five right here, right now. We gotta get a W. There we go. Beautiful. Going into game six. Jack Flaherty versus Mike Clevenger. Lost that one by five. Oh my goodness. Normally Flaherty for me is amazing, but Clevenger apparently just locked it down. And the Padres beat the Twins. There we go. If only we were able to get Blake Snell. Legit. I think if we have Blake Snell right there, we go to the World Series. No questions asked. Legit, that is insane. Either way. Moving on now, we got Tyler Duffy wants a contract. Again, Tyler Duffy did pretty good. I gotta get the guy back. He's always been a glitch for me. Kyle Schwarber, even though he's been going down a little bit, he's still a fantastic guy off the bench. Not to mention the home runs are insane. Jan Gomes, definitely not a bad backup. Again, Will Harris, even though he's 38 years old, it might be time to get someone new in there. Okay. Okay, Will Harris, it's been fun, bro. Trevor Cahill actually held it down pretty good. We'll get him back. And then Luis, he did very, very good in the regular season. The postseason, though, was a complete different story. I think he ended up having like an 11 year array or something crazy like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass. Either way, the actual Frazier market now, let's go ahead and get some studs. 569 seconds later. Yo, if Gallo wasn't so expensive, I think this would be the perfect replacement for Kyle Schwarber. Again, I love Schwarber, but this would be the perfect replacement for him. But he's $31 million. I can't afford that, so we're not going to get him. But still, that would have been so incredibly gross. Honestly, this entire free agency is kind of an L. I mean, we could get someone like Whit Merrifield, but he's pretty much like a Trey Turner. Kike Hernandez is just a big yikes all around. The guy's been non-existent at the plate. He's been hitting a sub 200. And to be honest, that's really about it. We got like some incredibly great guys here. Like the guys on this team really don't need that much help. The only thing that I really would want would be a very, very good left-handed starting pitcher. And there's pretty much nobody here that I want. So the only guys that looks like we're going to be going for this year is going to be Dallas Keuchel and Blake Trinan. And let's see how this shakes out. Come on. Aaron Judge goes to the Brewers. Okay. Demanderson going to Oakland on a five, what the heck, five-year, $33 million deal? That's a steal right there. Diaz going to the Diamondbacks, Joey Gallo going to the Angels, wow. Also, Barrios going to the Angels, where are they getting all this money from? I rebuilt them, they don't have money that much. They really don't have that much money, but whatever, I guess they do. Either way, the Rockies get Severino, Harold Chapman actually pulling the Dallin Patances and going to the Mets, holy crap. Either way, I hope we got everybody that we wanted, I think we did, and we definitely did. Okay, I'll see you guys in 2023, and let's go ahead and keep this thing going. Also, hold on, I'm plotting out here. Literally one minute later. Oh, wait a minute, oh, Oh God. Hold up. We got to go ahead and get rid of a prospect right here. There we go. Wow. We can go ahead and get rid of a 38 year old Max Scherzer. Also, you sell, which definitely sucks. But for Blake Snell, again, I feel like if Blake Snell was on this team last year, we win the World Series. I seriously believe that. 100% stand by it. Not to mention, Max Scherzer is super expensive and he's going into his last season before free agency. Not to mention, he's going to be going down to like a 70 overall this year. That's all she wrote right there. 100%. There we go. Blake Snell's on this team now and we're going to send it for 2023. Let's run it. Montreal, we better be first place. Let's see. Second place, who the heck's better? Who's better? Show me, it's gotta be the Dodgers, right? The Dodgers, of course. Okay. All right. I'll back down a little bit, but still, I believe in the squad so much. We got Flaherty, Snell, Strasburg, Syndergaard, and Aaron. Holy crap. Let's get this year going. We better have a phenomenal year. I'm talking 100 plus wins. If we honestly don't have 100 plus wins this year without being riddled with injuries, this game has some serious issues. Let's see what happens. All right. Today's the trade line. We come in at 54 and 47. Again, I don't think this team's anywhere near that. I think we should be where the Braves are. I know that I'm a thousand percent biased, but I mean, come on. When every single person pretty much in your starting rotation, has a sub three ERA, almost. But four out of five have a sub three ERA. You'd expect to be the best team in the MLB, like for real. But it actually looks like the thing that's holding us back is the bullpen right here. We got Tyler Duffy and Wander 
post up five year raise. That's losing us games 100%. We have to fix that. I love both those guys. We have to fix that. 569 seconds later. And there we go. Oh my God. We're going to completely revamp this entire bullpen right here. We're sending over Tyler Duffy, Matt, and Walter Sato to the White Sox for Aaron Bummer, Garrett Crochet, and Randy Dobnik. Yes. Please, thank you. Now we gotta go ahead and trade Wander and Tanner away real quick and try to get some more guys here. And honestly, there we go. Aaron Sledger's this guy is a complete god. Look at this. He finished off last year out of 174 innings with a 1.96. Honestly, one of the best pitchers to get, I think possibly of all time in this game, legitimately. Almost of all time. Like they made him so glitchy this year, it's actually disgusting. We're also gonna go for one more guy. We're gonna go for a second baseman. Stalin Cash has been all right, but if we're going for that World Series, we are going in. We're gonna try our best to get the best of the best. Let's see if we can actually do it though. Oh, and gimme jazz, come on. What the heck do you guys want? Pitching depth, we got so much of that. Throwing Sharp, no, Jackson Rutledge, no. Wow, they really love jazz, I get it. There we go, for Jeremy De La Rosa. Jeremy's got such a bright future too, that's why it sucks we'd have to get rid of them, but for Jazz, there we go. Jazz Chisholm is officially on the squad, baby. He goes up to a 92 on this team. Oh my goodness. If we look at the new additions over here, we got Jazz at second base, and then in the bullpen, we got Garrett Crochet, we got Randy Dobnik, and we also got Aaron Bummer, along with Aaron Sledges, too. Just absolutely disgusting, and we take over as the first overall team. Let's come out here with a vengeance in the second half. Let's do it right now. Let's see if we can win this 2023 World Series. All right, let's go. Here we are. We finish off 93 and 70. We don't even make the postseason. Excuse me? A half game back, literally. A half game freaking back. We tied game 163 and lost it by a single run. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and keep it going. One more year. Let's do it. I literally can't believe that one bit. Awards. Let's just check it real quick. Delivery man of the year going to Aaron Sledgers, of course. Steven Strasburg is welcome in third in the Cy Young voting. Like legit, what the heck? Like why? Why does this game have such a vendetta against me? This game hates me. All right, let's get to the offseason. Let's see who wins it. Who's going to take it? The Astros beat the Padres. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to stay in strong and say we're not going to need anybody this year. I do want to get Noah Syndergaard back. That's kind of a gigantic thing. But besides that, we really don't need anybody else for this team. I mean, legit from top to bottom, except for maybe right field, the team's kind of got like again we could possibly try to go for right fielder but i think we might be okay i'm gonna check the right fielders but if there's nobody there then i'm not gonna worry about it let's see and mitch hanniger's right here Ooh. okay wait a minute well myers as well but you know he wants 9.3 nicholas castellanos wants 6.3 that could be oh, 6.3 for a guy that hit 40 bombs there we go 6.5 over three years making that 19.5 over the next three years let's go ahead and get them there we go let's see if we can get everybody let's just hope for it come on come on let's get everybody that we want oh come on castellanos goes to the raise for one year this guy would rather send a one year deal than some with me. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna try something else then. Then it looks like we're gonna have to go with Mitch for one year. That is so fugazi. Okay, let's keep it going. Cassianos on this team would have been too nuts. I think that's why I'm with the show just nerfed it right there. Either way, if we check everybody, we got Mitch Haniger here now. Perfect. Go ahead and put him in there over Kyle Schwarber, and there we are. Perfect. This team looks disgusting. I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Team looks gross. The rotation as well looks disgusting. I don't know how many times I gotta say it, but it looks absolutely disgusting. Like I legit feel bad for anybody in our way. Alright, let's go. If we don't take the division this year, then we got some serious problems. I said that last year but didn't seem to work out that great. The game didn't necessarily understand it. So let's hope they understand it this year as it looks like they are right now. Holy crap. Again, the team that we built here should go in the Smithsonian because it's that insane. Also completely unrealistic, but that's the beauty of MLB The Show. You can make the most unrealistic thing actually work. That's why it's so great. Montreal legit became the Dodgers over here. Either way, tread a line. We're 70 and 31. We're fine. Let's keep this thing going and let's see how the end of the year shakes out for us. We finish off 106 and 56, taking the division. There we go. Exactly where we should be. Awards. Now, who's got a Juan Soto for the Hank Aaron Award? We also got the NL rookie there going to KJ. Let's go, dude. And the Juan Soto for the Silver Slugger. And he was in second place behind Pete Alonso for the MVP. I mean, Soto hit a 369. You gotta give it to him. I know Pete had 54 home runs, but come on. Flirty in second place for the Cy Young. Oh my God, we were so close to everything. Either way, the line is real quick. Trey Turner, amazing. Loriano, not horrible, but probably could have done a little bit better. Chapman, the average is down a little bit, but still everything else very solid. Josh Bell, by the way, I gotta be honest here. One of the best first basemen that I've had recently. The dude's consistent. I gotta love it. Kyle Shore, by the way. Oh my God. He heard that we were gonna replace him and he just straight up went off. Okay, my bad. Jazz over at second base. The average, again, not great, but still everything else very solid. And Salvi Perez for a catcher. It is what it is. Rotation now. Flaherty. Flake Snell. Oh my God. Syndergaard. Jesus. That actually is kind of... Not great for Syndergaard, but still. Strasburg, my God. And then Aaron. Gee, oh my. I have no words. Like, I literally can't say anything. Aaron Sledgers, a 1.71. 
Crochet did good. Randy Dobnek, a 1.98. This team's actually gonna make me cry tears of joy. So freaking good. All right. I'll be so much happier though if we can beat these stupid Rockies. Let's do it right here, right now. Montreal versus Colorado. Jack Flaherty versus Brady Singer. Game one. Let's get it going. There we go. Six to one. Perfect. Blake Snell versus Herman Marquez. Won that one as well. And then Noah Syndergaard versus Pablo Lopez for game three. And there we are. Swept them. Perfect. Take on the Cubs now. Jack Flaherty, Luis Castillo for game one. Lost that one by five. Blake Snell versus Tyler Glass now. Wow. Blake Snell versus Tyler Glass now. Sheesh, bro. Come on, Snell. I need you to come back here or not. Down 0-2. Definitely not in the spot that I want to be in. Syndergaard versus Kyle Hendricks. Well, there we go. Took that back. Steven Strasburg versus Tom Walker. All right, now we're all tied up. Aaron versus Adbert. There we go. We took the lead. And then Jack Flaherty versus Luis Castillo for game, what is this? Six? Yeah, six. Simple addition apparently is very difficult when I'm trying to do these videos, but either way, let's see. Luis Castillo, Jack Flaherty, and we take it, baby. Going to the World Series versus Houston. Oh, wow. Blake Snell, Lance McCullers Jr. for game one. Blake Snell's having a horrible postseason too. All right, let's go ahead and fix that for the World Series. Montreal versus Houston. Game one. Let's get going. And we lost that literally by one. We just didn't score. Lance McCullers apparently had the best game ever. All right, game two. Flaherty versus Josh James. Won that one. Perfect. That's actually a gigantic W right there. Shift the momentum back. No Syndergaard versus Jose for game three. Won that one. Beautiful. Steven Strasburg versus Framberg. There we go. I'm slipping over my words, but it's fine. And then Aaron going up against Chris freaking Archer. Come on, Montreal. Let's do it. In Houston. Thank God we're not going to be at our home park because it's still the National Stadium. Either way, we need a great game out of these guys. And we got to take it. Glaber Torres, by the way, it's a bomb for them. Aaron, he got bases juiced and one out, but it's fine. Just hit into a double play and everything will be fine. That's a strikeout. That works too. Nimmo. And that's a ground out. Beautiful job. Jazz, lead off for us, baby. Bring that electricity. That's a walk. We'll take it. Salvi. That's a single. Two guys on for Trey. Come on. That's a walk. We'll take it. Bases juice for Loriano. This is the time for him to absolutely explode right here. And he hits into a double play. Legit the killer of all moods right there. At least we score one. We tie it up. But Soto, come on. Or not. Okay, we tie it up. And they hit a two-run bomb. Corey Seager is on this team too. I didn't even notice that. That's bad. That's real freaking bad. But Schwarber hits a bomb too. Thank goodness. We tie it up. Come on, boys. Aaron's getting smacked around a little bit. We're putting in Sledgers. Let's see what Sledgers can do as he gives up a run. Two, three runs. Sledgers. Four runs? What type of garbage is that? The guy's had a 1.98 the entire time. That is some absolute booty cheeks right there. Come on, boys. And Sledgers gives up another bomb. Who are you, dude? And what did you do with Sledgers? Crochet, get in there. Let's try to come back a little bit. Let's see what we can do. Got two guys on for Salvi. And they get out of it. Wow. We're just getting screwed over this game, huh? We got a guy in Sledgers that has not given up a run since he was probably born at this point. And he decides to completely ruin that game for us. That's insane. Either way, heading back home to Montreal. Let's see if we can finish out this game. Come on, boys. Let's go. Flare down the mound. We just got to get some hits going. That's really about it. We just got to get those hits going. Come on, let's get those bats moving as Flaherty gives up three straight walks with one out with Gleyber Torres coming up. That's a strikeout. Somehow we got out of it. That dude's just built different. Okay, come on, guys. Let's get some freaking hits going. It's an absolute pitcher's duel out here. And Jordan, out of all people, hit a bomb. Okay, he's busting the lead open a little bit. Top of the order. Trey Turner, Loriano, and Soto. Get some things going, please. McCullers is not a good postseason pitcher. I've said it once and said it a thousand times. In this game, he's horrible. Come on, Loriano, another double play. You are so cursed. I'm demoting Loriano all the way to the bottom. All right, bummer, get in there. That's a through run bomb to Corey Seager. I, I thought the lefty on lefty would work, but apparently not. Guys, you're watching an absolute murder happen. I'm getting blasted. I am legitimately getting blasted. Please score five runs here. Got two guys on Salvi. Pigeon change. We got Brian Abreu coming in and they actually beat us. When in this game's history has Lance McCullers gone seven innings of four hit baseball? Literally never. That's the answer. Legit never. Snell, can you please come to the rescue? Also, Loriano, get all the way down to the bottom. Jazz is coming up here. Let's go, Snell. Have a game for me, baby. And Josh James, I need you to get smacked, please. And that's a two-run bomb for Reese Hoskins. Okay, dude. I swear to God. Guys, I just need the bats to come alive. God, oh my God. Lefty on lefty again for Corey Seager. Guys, I just need the bats to be here. That's all I need. I'm going crazy over here. Just please, the bats come back. It's Josh James. Just hit. Solo bomb from Syndergaard. Thank you. From the pitcher. And the rest of our garbage cans can't even do it. Thank you, Kyle Schwarber. Holy crap. That's at least three. Let's keep it going. We just need two more. That's two straight singles. Juan Soto. Come on. Do it right here or a pop out. Guys, we're getting absolutely screwed here. Bottom of the eighth, Matt Chabon versus Blake Taylor. Okay, never mind. Matt Chabon versus Adam Warren. That's a walk. We'll take that. Josh Bell, strikeout. Kyle Schwarber, single. Loriano, strikeout. Salvador Perez. Oh my, I'm gonna go insane. I'm actually gonna go insane. That's a two run bomb. The game's over. The game's actually gonna be over. It is eight to three somehow. I'm going in. I'm not gonna lose like this. I'm going in. I'm not gonna lose what? Three straight? Off of absolute garbage? There's no shot. Let me change this camera and let's go ahead and get this thing done. It all starts with Luis Garcia getting on base. That's a nice little hanger. Is that gonna drop though? It doesn't look like it's gonna drop. Wow, okay. A super early one out. Okay. Trey Turner time now. 
There we go. It's a ball. I can't believe that Syndergaard actually gave up three runs in the top of the ninth, too. That's also something that should never happen in this game. He was doing so incredibly good. That should never happen. You hate to see that, too. Come on, Trey. Guys, we just need some singles, and that's really about it. Just a couple singles. That was the worst pitch to go for. Oh, my God. Jazz, it all comes down to you, bro. Literally, it all comes down to you. We just need a couple singles and a bomb, and then another home run, probably. Is that going to be it? That's not going to be you guys have no freaking clue how filled with rage I am right now. To lose it like that when our bats just completely go silent. Just absolutely disgusting. I hope that the franchise guides this game step on nothing but Legos for the next 50 years straight. I don't think I can take another year of that, legit. We have too good of a team to have the Astros of all teams coming in and just cheat us out of a World Series. I mean, they got a great team, but also Lance McCullers. In none of my rebuilds has Lance McCullers actually done well in the postseason. All of a sudden, the guy wakes up and does good. Either way, that's such a heartbreaker i might actually just go straight to bed to be honest it's a little late while i'm recording this i was gonna record another video but i don't know if i can after that one either way i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did leave a like kind of subscribe down below i'd appreciate it and my god can i just get an f in the comments because that was one of the worst like 10 minutes i think i've ever experienced in this game either way again follow me on tiktok instagram and twitter all those things down below and i'll see you guys later have a great extra day and peace out